Dane and Cole are two typical 11-year-olds from Melbourne. They do things all typical 11-year-olds do. What happens? Did I win? Yeah, I think so. Want to play again? But yeah. these twins have one big difference. Dane has cerebral palsy. Yeah, yeah. It's a condition shared by 34,000 Australians. Until recently, many people believed it was caused by birth trauma and obstetricians were blamed. The treatment and understanding of this condition have been transformed, partly from the study of twins. Oh, I'm sorry, can you reach that? <laughs> Despite their obvious differences, the twins do share a unique connection. Mm -hmm. you get a small I really think the way they think and the things that they find funny, like they can crack each other up, so I think their humour is very much the same. So even though they're quite different and the circumstances have probably led to a lot of that, I think that they just have that same way of thinking. Mm -hmm. For their parents, mm -hmm. the brothers are like any other boys. There's plenty of rough housing, but they are close. They can go and disappear into, into Dane's room and you think, where have they been? And they've just been doing something Three. together, uh, playing chess or two. shooting their movie. Dane, you ready? Three, yep. two, one. The Rolling Dead, yeah. Um, well, the second episode. <laughs> it's comedy in, like, a zombie world where zombies can only appear in wheelchairs or any type of transportation with wheels. Okay, that's good. I am like the director, script editor, and yeah, all of that. I'm, um, pretty, I'm pretty much the producer, because you you just came up with the name. Well, I did a few other things anyway. That's not the pizza guy. Cerebral palsy is much more common in twins than the rest of the population. <laughs> I can't. About one in 200 twins are born with it. Oh, good. Twins that develop cerebral palsy, it's usual that only that one of them will. It is possible, unfortunately, that they both will, but it's usual that only one of the twins will develop cerebral palsy. Go. Go. Slide it. Slide it. Scientists have been trying to understand what happens in the womb that leads to children developing that was this condition. Yeah. We know that that womb environment has the potential to be affected, particularly by the types of placentas. So we know that you know, small placentas can result in small babies, larger placentas in larger babies. With identical twins that are sharing a single placenta, it's how they share the blood flow across that placenta which is the most important factor. How do they feel? Good. So when they came out, Cole was really bright red and Dane was really grey because Cole had been getting all the blood. Dane likes to call him the blood hog. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so Dane's road was going to be a lot tougher. Cerebral palsy in twins is almost always related to twins that share a placenta and that sharing is unequal, either with a twin to twin transfusion where one twin donates blood to the other and it's usually the twin that's donated the blood that is the most affected. Every now and then he'll mention the cerebral palsy and he wishes that he didn't have it. And I just tell him that if he didn't have a cerebral palsy, then I may not have who he is and I wouldn't want, you know, anyone else. So, yeah. Hmm. yeah. You, ch you change that, you change him. Hmm. Slightly turn your shoulder to the camera. That's it there. Here we go. Look there the have been a number of pioneering studies of the causes of cerebral yeah, palsy in twins that have enabled us to reduce the risks and develop new treatments.